السلام عليكم ورحمة الله So the story number 10 in the series is You worshipped a cow You worshipped a cow Who is talking here? And who worshipped a cow? And why did they worship a cow? This is the main focus in the story. And also from each story, we will try to pick up some points that what can we learn from it. So who are those people who worshipped a cow? They are, or they were, the people of Musa, alayhi salam. His followers, not all of them, but some of them. Every prophet's time, some people followed them, followed each of the prophet, and among the followers, some were true followers, true believers, and always among the followers, some opportunist hypocrites were there. And this story about some hypocrites among the followers of Musa alayhi salam. When did it happen? When Musa alayhi salam with the command of Allah, took his followers away from the Egypt. And then Pharaoh, Pharaoh, with his soldiers, chased them. Then Musa and his followers came near a sea. In front of them was sea water, and behind them was Pharaoh and his army. In that critical situation, Allah instructed Musa to strike the sea with his stick. And as a result, 12 paths were made. So they crossed and Pharaoh and his army, they came in and they were drowned. After crossing the sea, this thing happened. After, after crossing the sea, Musa alayhi salam and his followers, they were going and they were passing a village or a community. And that community, they were worshipping idols. So some of the Hypocrites from his team, followers, they said, Musa, if he could make an idol like this for us to worship. So let us begin the story from there. We start with chapter 7, verse number 138. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وجاوزنا ببني إسرائيل البحر and we took the children of Israel safely to the other side of the sea فأتوا على قوم يعكفون على أصنام لهم And here they found a people who were completely devoted to some idols that they had worshipped. So some followers of Musa saw that and then they said to Musa 
قالوا يا موسى ده سيد موسى قالوا يا موسى جعل لنا إلها كما لهم كما لهم آلها ده سيد موسى put together for us a god like the gods they have قال انكم قوم تجهلون موسى عليه السلام was surprised he said surely you are a people without knowledge Musa alayhi salam was surprised that these people are asking me this. I brought them out from Egypt where people were worshipping idols. I taught them about oneness of Allah, that they should worship only one Allah. And that was the reason for which Pharaoh wanted to kill me and was killing all the male children so the Muslim race will be abolished and whoever will be left over will be his slave and then these people they came with me in front of their eyes they saw miracles of Allah in front of their eyes they saw how Allah miraculously made paths in the sea for them to cross safely. After all this, these people are trying to go back to the idol worshipping. It was very, very astonishing to him. That's why out of his astonishment he said, Qala innakum qawmun tajhalun. Definitely you are a people of ignorance. Only a ignorant person can request like this. But as I said, they were not the true believers. Because in each religion, you will find some true believers and you will find some hypocrites. Moses alayhi salam's time, he had some. Jesus, Isa alayhi salam's time, he had some true disciples and some of them, they were betrayers. They informed against him. So in each and every time, you will find some betrayers. So they were betrayers. So, Musa salam rejected their request. He did not make any prayer to Allah. Because how could he? He was sent to teach about worshipping one Allah. How could he teach people? for worshipping idols. Not possible. So these people, they accepted on the face, but in their heart, they didn't give up. They were looking for opportunities. And opportunity came. When opportunity came, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called Musa alayhi salam in Mount Thur for 40 nights. So for 40 days and night, Musa was away from them. And that time, they took the opportunity. They had a leader. His name was Samiri. So Samiri, he organized all the ornaments they had. They were not few thousand. They were hundreds of thousands of people with Musa salam, who crossed the sea. And they had lots of ornaments. So he ordered to collect all the ornaments. All his supporters, they collected ornaments. And then he put the ornaments into the fire melt them and then out of that he made a calf he made a calf out of the ornaments 
a calf so that they could make that calf as their god allah's messenger was with them musa alayhi salam went away to montur but he appointed his brother harun alayhi salam to look after them harun alayhi salam advised them not to do they didn't care and harun alayhi salam did not impose anything on them fearing that there will be a fight inner fight and these hypocrites they took the chance so made a calf and then this samiri he did something else when he was noticing he was not far from musa alayhi salam he was behind musa alayhi salam when musa alayhi salam was coming with his people from egypt to the sea he was behind him and he noticed something strange something miraculous he noticed that another horse or something with a ride was going along with musa alayhi salam side by side but the things were unseen but he could see the footprint of a horse he did not see the ride a footprint footprints of of the horse and also he noticed the wherever the footprint were in the desert in that footprint some grass green grass came up so he thought that definitely the soil from this footprint has some miraculous capacity so he picked up some soil from there so later on he could make use of use of it the funny thing is he was thinking in his way and allah was giving him opportunity to test him. and that horse was belong to angel jibril and angel jibril was on that horse that's why he could not see angel so when he made the calf from that soil because he believed that soil has some miracles so from that soil he used to pick up some soil he used to throw it in the mouth of the calf in a moo sound is to come out a moo sound is to come out then he told his people look this is our god and musa forgot to tell us he has gone to mount tur to find out who the real god is but it is here he forgot to tell us maybe he was in a hurry so people come and start worshiping it harun alayhi salam and the true believers they said don't do it because this calf calf sorry this calf it cannot speak it cannot listen it cannot help you it does not you know even know how to protect itself if someone spit on the on it so use your brain and don't worship don't put your honorable head down on something that is man made they didn't listen they began to worship and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding about them reminding us and all the mankind in this story that look how some wrong followers 
bad people who claim to be with Musa alayhi salam, one of the greatest messenger of Allah, they made mistake. If you are not careful, then you can make same kind of mistake. If you are not careful, then Shatan will inspire, inspire you to put your head down, to bow your head down to some of Allah's creation. So Allah is saying this in Holy Quran that what did they do in chapter 2, verse 51. <clears throat> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإذ وعدنا موسى أربعين ليلة ثم اتخذتم العجل من بعدي وأنتم ظالمون and remember when we appointed 40 nights for Musa and in his absence you took the calf for the worship. Wantum zwalimun and you made a terrible mistake. You made a terrible mistake. When people say that we are believers, then Allah has promised in the Quran that any believers or follower of any messengers, when they say that I believe or we believe, Allah will test them. Allah will test them in different, different ways, whether they are genuine believers, or they are false believers, or they are strong believers, or they are weak believers. Allah said in chapter 29, verse 1, Do people think that they will say, we are believers, and then Allah will not test them? Allah will test everyone and Allah tested the followers of Musa alayhi salam. Allah has tested followers of each and every messengers of Allah. Similarly, the lesson is here for the follower of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Allah is testing. Allah is testing. And today, some Muslims, maybe they are not worshipping idols, but they are making statues and showing the statues respect. This is another kind of idol worshipping. Some Muslims, they are going to graves, graves of some righteous people. They are dead and they are making monuments and they are paying respect there. This is also one kind of idol worshipping. Islam, that's why if you go to the mosque, you will find this Islam teaches don't create any images, don't make any statues, only worship Allah, the unseen God, and you put your head down to only Allah, nothing else. From this story we find that even some of the hypocrites, followers of Musa salam, they were deceived by Shatan and for that Allah said they made grievous mistake. And for Muslims, we should be also careful we don't make this kind of mistake. Also another thing we pick up from this story and that is that idol worshipping was not the teaching of any messenger of Allah. Each and every messenger of Allah 
whether it is Ibrahim alayhi salam or Noah alayhi salam or Musa alayhi salam or Isa alayhi salam or Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam each and every messenger of Allah they came to teach to worship only one Allah nothing else and we have to follow this teaching and that's why we declare our faith when we say Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la that I bear witness that Allah is one in other words that only Allah deserves our worship or only Allah is worthy to be worshipped La Sharika Allah and he doesn't have any partners so this is the uh, teaching of the story the, a great community they were deceived by Shatan and they worshipped a cow and from this we should learn that we should not do the similar kind of mistake. May Allah guide us. May Allah protect us from wrongdoing. Amin. Assalamu alaikum.